What's up everyone, General Discharge here. Today's video is going to be discussing the United States Navy's Riverines. Navy Riverine sailors are considered brown water sailors who patrol on small watercraft, conducting maritime security operations and theater security cooperation in riverine area of operations or other suitable areas. You're probably asking yourself, don't SWIX kind of do that too? Then what's the difference between Riverines and SWIX? Do not fret. We will cover that in this video so you have a better idea of the two. Navy Riverines were part of Coastal Riverine Squadrons, but the Navy restructured everything in that department and now they fall under a bigger entity called Maritime Expeditionary Security Forces, or MESF for short. While they're no longer officially called Riverines, we are going to be referring to them as such in this video, for simplicity's sake. If you want to know more about what the Navy Riverines are, what they do, their capabilities, training, requirements, and much more. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Before we jump into it, make sure to take a moment and show us some love and support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Your support is our lifeblood. Do not hesitate to ask us questions in the comments section below. We check everything. Navy Riverines conduct maritime security operations across all phases of military operations by defending the Navy's high value assets, critical maritime infrastructure, ports and harbors both inland and on coastal waterways. This includes exercises, security force assistance, and personnel exchange. They are capable of conducting 24-hour operations in all weather conditions and climates. Navy Riverines do their job on the Mark 6 patrol boat, which is an 84-foot boat that can perform missions including patrolling shallow areas, search and seizure operations, escort high-value shipping and fleet units in foreign ports, and support special operations forces. They can pack two stabilized, remote-operated, optically-guided Mark 50, 50 caliber gun weapon systems, two Mark 38 Mod 2 25mm gun weapon systems, and two crew-served 50 caliber machine guns. Despite its name, it is not a successor to the Mark V boat that Swix used. And now that we're back on the topic of SWIX, let's talk about the differences between these two entities. SWIX are a part of naval special warfare, are considered a soft force, and are a specific rate in the Navy. Riverines, or more correctly, MESF, are a unit, and are not considered special operations. Instead, they fall under the Navy Expeditionary Combat Command. There's no set rate or job for a Riverine sailor either. They can be a wide range of rates what billets at the unit. In addition, to become a SWIC, you have to go through an extensive and challenging selection process. Whereas for the Riverines, it is essentially a cool billet you can land yourself in if you're at the right place at the right time. And we can't stress that enough. Joining the Riverines is an excellent opportunity for a lot of sailors who want to do something extra in the Navy, but have no desire to serve in NSW or NSO. Sailors who are both enlisted and officers are eligible to serve in a Riverine unit. For enlisted, you can be a BM, CM, EM, EN, EO, ET, GM, HM, IS, IT, LS, MA, MM, OS, PS, QM, or a YN. That's a lot of acronyms. As for officers, the designators range from SWOs, supply, aviation, intelligence, and information professionals. Officers have a unique opportunity to serve as leaders in these units. To stress this, being a Riverine is a billet, not a career-long endeavor. Personnel typically spend three years here and move on to other work in the Navy. While it may be possible to do a couple tours in a Riverine unit, chances are this will be a one-and-done thing. So, since there's no selection process to get into this unit, what kind of training do you have to go to? The school you'll go to en route to the unit is called Expeditionary Combat Skills, or ECS for short. ECS is a four-week course in Gulfport, Mississippi, where you'll learn basic land-based combat skills like land nav, firearms familiarization, and TCCC. Further training to hone in your skills as an expeditionary sailor will be available once you arrive at your unit. Once you spend some time there, learned your trade, and have been sent to schools, you'll have the opportunity to get the expeditionary pin, which looks like this. 
This pin isn't unique to Riverine units, but since it falls under NECC, you'll be able to obtain it. As far as the physical requirements go, candidates must pass three consecutive physical fitness assessments and the Class 2 Swimmer test. Since the duties of being a Riverine sailor are considered physically arduous, with sailors required to operate in austere environments, wearing heavy body armor and carrying weapons, those with physical conditions such as chronic back, shoulder, or knee problems will not be considered. If if you're a healthy sailor who can pass their PFA and do not have a bad record, and you have a qualifying rate, you should have no problem getting a billet here. Just remember, openings for this will be all about being at the right place at the right time. And there you go, you now know a decent overview of the Navy Riverines, or more correctly, the Maritime Expeditionary Security Forces. If you want to know more about other career fields in the Navy, we've done plenty of videos on them. On screen are all the ones we've done thus far. There will be a playlist in the description for them. Well, that is the down and dirty of the U.S. Navy's Riverines. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. Do you even want to be here? A big shout out to all of our YouTube members and our patrons over at our Patreon. Thank you all so much for taking the extra step in supporting our channel. It is much appreciated. If you'd like to be featured on a general discharge video, consider joining our membership with the link in the description or the join button to the left of the subscribe button, or go give our Patreon a look and join the team. Here's Nick Nausea. All your friends are subscribing to general discharge and you don't even want to be here.